I just got the most unhealthy treat. Look at that, deep fried dough with sugar. And I got it from this little stand here. This is how they do it. And it is delicious. So unhealthy, but so good. It's really early, as you can tell. 7 a.m. It's really quiet. There's nearly nobody at the market yet. <laughs> They're all just setting up now. So, here's all the shoes. Big shoe stand. Here they're still busy putting up their stand. All the little metal pieces. There. <laughs> and here yeah, it's still completely empty. Nobody is here. I just bought some beautiful honey for 10 loves. And I got my buffalo yogurt again. <laughs> so this is the beautiful lady that sold it to me. She's lovely. And this is 10. And this is 7. This is what I harvested from my garden yesterday. <laughs> I had one and one and I clearly have more. So this is the most interesting um, stand here. It's a big mystery and I love it. One day I'll figure it out. Look what I found. Cherries for four laps. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Here's the rest of the market. And there is the main market. It goes all along that road. They're selling beautiful little plants. Potatoes. All of the veggies and fruits. Flowers. I've of course bought a watermelon because watermelon. Oh, look what we have here. The first walnuts. Hey hey. Kana, this is the one that Emma tried to destroy. But it's still alive. I don't know what this is. I'll have to ask at some point. She's selling quite a bit of it. More plant plants. Tahini and olives and honey. So the honey is going from 10 to 12 these days. But oh, look at this. We got some sweet potatoes and ginger and kiwis. That's nice. Oh, there's a mango up there. Corn. Melons. Some plums back there. Lots of plant plants, more plant plants. There's the cheese over there. They're still setting up, it looks like. Honey. I got some apricots over there. More stuff over there. Plant plants here. Eggs, cucumber. So this is a very famous stand where people are always lining up. They've got baklava and fried dough things. It's very, very tasty. And they've got cheese. There's a bakery back there. And here we've got some fire. <laughs> Here's some olives. Stuff. This is where I got the honey for 10 loves still. And here we've got some chickens. Hey chickens. Hello chickens. Aww, hello. Some bread and they're making some meat. Some outside seating areas. It'll be full in a minute. Some clothes. And then here's some more stuff that I'm not sure what that milk is. More plant plants. And clothes. More clothes. They're still setting up, it's still early. And here's the miscellaneous stand, which is everything. Every market needs a stand like this. Just everything. Everything, everything. See, it's still empty. I'm too early. You only want to get here at around 9 because otherwise you'll find empty stands like this. 
Where are they still setting up? Still setting up. Okay, and then at the end there, there's gonna be this delicious um, fried dough again, and I'm very tempted. <laughs> it's uh, it tastes good, but it's fried dough, so I am probably not gonna get that again. And here's another miscellaneous stand. Everything's all the things, kitchen towels, huh? And then we have potatoes with some cowboy hats. And also popcorn. More clothes. They're still sitting up here. A couple of melons down there. This is the stand that is so intriguing for me. It's 70 years to Tinkies. And there's a big bowl of dough. So I got my watermelon. I also got a cabbage. I got these cool little things. I love bell peppers. I got a buffalo yogurt. I got my honey, uh, tomatoes, apricots, um, peaches. And I got some cherries. They're four lips, a full kilogram. So I got a kilogram. So these are my little things that I got right now. I'm still gonna go back and get some goat's cheese. And I'm also gonna go get some nectarines. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I finished my shopping. I got my goat's cheese and oh, I got nectarines and I got the Kristovica, which is cucumber. And I think I'm all done now. I'm gonna head home. The market is just starting. I'm definitely way too early. Do not come to the market before nine o'clock. You will not see everything. <laughs> Some of the stands are still not set up. Yeah, so they set up between 7 and 9, and if you want to see everything, just come at 9. Alright, this is the end result. This is all the stuff I got at the market today. I couldn't help myself, I had to get a watermelon, even though... Da -da -da -da, still got one, so I think we all know what I'm eating today. <laughs> it's going to be a watermelon. Um, cool, so I've spent about 50 labs on this. Um, the most expensive things were the honeys. Uh, I bought one at 10 and one at 12. Um, the one at 12 loves I got from the dedicated honey lady. Like all she sells is only honey. So I figured a 12 love is worth spending with her. And then I can, I also thought maybe I could compare them if they taste different or anything, but they look, they look pretty much similar to me. They look the same. So I think probably next time if I can get for 10 loves, I'll just do 10 loves. Anyway, so yeah, all of this, 50 loves. Pretty happy I found these. These are pretty scarce these days. Got some apricots. And then I got peaches and nectarines, some tomatoes. This is the buffalo yogurt that I absolutely love. <laughs> so much has to really check everything. <laughs> and then I love these little bell peppers. They're so good. I actually saved the seeds. There they are. So next year I'll be growing these if everything goes well. Uh, this is the goat's cheese called Cosa and it's with salt. Got some little cucumbers so I can make a salad. And I finally got some coleslaw. So now I can make some coleslaw with carrots and uh, yeah, coleslaw salad. <laughs> that should be good. So pretty happy with this morning's adventures. Just to give some more ideas about costs. This was five loves. This was two loves. This was three loves. This was three loves. I can't remember about that, but it was four per kilogram. Uh, this, I can't remember. This was seven loves, this was 10 and 12. Uh, this was three and this was four loves. Um, I guess you can't really see how much of each, but just about a kilogram each. And this was two loves for all of these. Uh, this was five loves. It's just a little chunk like this, which would last me about four or five salads. Yeah, so those are the castings. So I have bought a lot of shade cloth, <laughs> like I might have mentioned. And look what I've done. I have 
put a hook up in that corner and a hook up in that corner in the conservatory. And now I have a beautiful shade cloth uh, across the conservatory. There's still a little gap because I folded a double up top here so the length can be changed. Um, but I wanted to leave a little gap just for the flowers to get a little bit of light. I guess they would still get light through the shade cloth, but anyway, this is how it is for now. And I love it. Oh, it makes a massive difference. Absolutely massive difference. It's a little stroke of genius that I did that. <laughs> it doesn't look straight, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not straight, but I forgive myself. Overall, I am so grateful that this little stroke of genius just popped into my head. And even though it's executed at a less than perfect way, <laughs> it's got a perfect result for me, which means the conservatory is going to be habitable and way more comfortable thanks to this beautiful shade cloth, beautiful screens. And yeah, overall, I feel better. Now I can get back to my laptop work. I've got my little fan going. Yeah comfortable. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here.